the air, you control it right here, right? Needle and fan for this gun. And like I said, no, no gun one to one is the same. They're all different. Okay, I want to go get an air regulator. So the first thing you want to do when you have a, a, an air regulator, you want to open this up completely because you want the gun to be completely open with the air and then what you're going to adjust is your regulator. So, I mean, even with this, it's all different, okay? But what I use, what works for me, what I use and what works for me is I set it up at 25 or 27, sometimes a little bit higher when I'm spraying the base. All right, so you do that. Now, the air pressure, it's gonna change when you change your fan because there's, when the fan's bigger, it's gonna take up more air, air pressure. So, if you turn this all the way, right, to the right, you get a big fan, as you can see. And you turn it all the way to the right. When you turn it all the way to the right, you get a small fan, like that. So, what I do, for the Iwata guns is I'll adjust my fan, usually probably two turns. So you have, that's where it ends. So you go one, two, and then check it. Right? That's still, that's still too small. So I'll probably do two and a half, and I'll get to its optimal pattern because I find that if you keep turning to the left and you make it bigger 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 then you distort the pattern so I like to get it just as soon as it gets wide that's where I stop so and for my fluid needle I have it so the best way to set it up is you'll go all the way out right you'll go all the way out I go all the way out right look at that all the way out and then I'll put it in so I'll turn it in until I can feel it on my finger so you're gonna pull the trigger and you're gonna turn it in until you can feel the pressure right and then that's the way that I set it up Okay, now, if you're going to, that's probably good for like a big job, right? So then you get a nice, and then you've got to set up the pressure because when you change this thing, when you change this thing, it affects the pressure. Mostly only the, the fan pattern, that's what's gonna change the pressure. So I gotta, so I'll go up to 27, right? And then I'll get a nice, nice pattern very consistent, okay? So you get a nice consistent pattern. Now, when you're doing like, this will work for anything. Bumpers, big jobs, this setup will, will work perfectly for that. Now, if you're going to do like a small repair, what I'll do is I'll dial down the air pressure and then I'll close in the pattern. So I'll dial down the pressure and I close the pattern. So then you got very low air pressure and you can do just tiny little things like that if you're doing a blow-in on a bumper or something like that. So you got your fan, 
your needle, and your air. Those are the three most important three things for a gun setup. So I hope this helps. Like I said, every gun is different, but if you can find those three components, then you'll be off to the races. And you want to have a wide pattern, you want to have the needle all the way out, and you want to have the right air pressure. But like I said, every gun's different. No one size fits all. But the one thing that fits all is if you find those three components, which are generally located in the same areas, then you'll be able to have the perfect gun setup that works for you. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this video. Um, thank you so much for your time, and I hope this helps. If it helps, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. It would mean the world to me. Until next time, stay motivated.